Okay, Brendel Bearcat Journal here with offensive coordinator Mike Dembrock. Coach, uh, the thing that jumped out day one of camp, you guys come out in seven on seven, you go over the top, the first four plays, get three touchdowns. Was that setting the tone of we're going to be more aggressive this year and, and, and letting those guys know it? Well, I hope it does. Um, we certainly do want to be more aggressive with pushing the ball down the field vertically. Um, you know, day one install kind of happens to be our vertical passing game package too, so it kind of married up at the same time. But it is a good a good way to kind of drive the point home that we're not going to be able we're not going to be afraid to to take some shots down the field and let our guys go make some plays. You, you moved to the tight end room, uh, a very talented room. We've talked about that uh, through the spring and up to now. Um, how fun has that been getting back to, to kind of where you made your hay and, and working with tight ends and, and with a talented bunch? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, uh, you know, to try to get in there with those guys and try to teach them a little more of the details and a little bit more of the ins and outs. And uh, obviously it's a little different for them having the coordinator in their room. Uh, but I think it gives them a little kind of extra insight into what we're thinking and how we're thinking and, and how to really do their job and how it fits. Um, so I think we've seen a lot of progress out of those guys. I think they've really come along. I think we've got a, a number of different combinations we could play there. Um, and we're interested in letting those guys fight it out as we go through camp here and, and see who comes out on top. How much difference does it add with the, with the size you get in, in a Josh Wiley and a Leonard Taylor? Uh, of being able to exploit some mismatches and get those guys down the field. Well, it can certainly add another dimension to what you do offensively once they learn how to use their size <laughs> effectively. So I think we're in the process of that. Uh, they're certainly, you know, they come with the tools that you'd love to have at that position. And, and maybe you don't see, uh, you know, at the University of Cincinnati all the time, although the rich tradition they have tight end play here. I don't know why every tight end in America wouldn't want to be part of what we do. How much do you, uh, you show them, Travis Kelsey, and say, look, it's the second best tight end in the NFL. That's, a, that's what guy this, this guy did here. It's funny you mentioned that. I mean, right before training camp started, uh, I made up a little highlight tape of, uh, of Travis and, and how he went about his business when he was representing uh, the CPAW as a University of Cincinnati tight end and, and really the expectation level that he set for that position and the way he went about his business. And uh, I hope that we can honor his the way he played the game and, and build a tradition of our own and build on it and be, you know, make it even stronger than it has been. As an offensive coordinator, is it a luxury to have two young, talented quarterbacks, but then you've also got a fifth-year senior, a guy that's kind of been through it and had some ups and downs and, and knows the ropes? I think it's a luxury and a curse at the same time. I think there's, there's both ends of the spectrum. Obviously, you know, young guys are going to make mistakes. They're going to they're going to not see somebody. They're going to, uh, you know, kind of misread a coverage or misread uh, in the run game what we're trying to ask them to do. But that just comes with time and progress and reps. Uh, you know, the older guy, we, you know, Hayden's done a nice job. We've kind of leaned on him a lot to try to help bring those other guys along. And I think. You know, the, the spirit of competition in the quarterback room right now is exactly what you want. I think they're helping each other, uh, but at the same time, each one of them wants the job, and uh, so they're going about it the right way. Uh, the receiver group, you've added some talent there. You, you're seeing some guys, maybe older guys that feel pushed now yeah. uh, that are trying to step up, and, and that's part of stretching the field and, and getting those guys uh, on the same page and, and being more productive because I thought last year that kind of – <laughs> slowed down the offense a little bit that, yeah. that they, they couldn't get deep. Yeah, I think, you know, nothing's better from a coaching perspective than creating discomfort. Uh, so if you got somebody behind you, uh, they know who the players are. They, they can see uh, that there's more guys at that position that can run. There's more guys that can do the jobs. There's more guys that, uh, you know, can take the reps away if they don't step up and do the things uh, the way we need them to be done. So I think they've done a tremendous job of that. Great improvement over the spring. I think that continued over the summer, and I'm seeing it here in fall camp. So I'm, I'm really excited about where the wide receivers are going. Um, talk, speaking of the, some of those wide receivers, the young guys, Chicago's become an emphasis for this staff. Obviously, we can't name recruits, but right. how important has it been with your ties up there and, and some of Geno's ties up yeah. there to really attack Chicago hard and make it a priority? Uh, it's been great. I mean, obviously, we kind of tag team the area a little bit. and. And, uh, you know, he recruited there a lot when the last place he was, and so did I. So I think it gives us an opportunity to not only – we already know the coaches in the area really well. They trust us. We trust them. Uh, and it gives us a chance to kind of, uh, you know, dip our toe in, if you will, kind of outside uh, of Ohio but still within the 300-mile radius and, and maybe fill in a few of the blank spots that we maybe can't find here in the state of Ohio. So 
I think it's been good for us so far. I think we, you know, we need to continue to dig in up there because there's some really good football going on. You have to be happy with it. You look around, you see Jeremy Cooper and Jay Sean Jackson and Alec Pierce and Ben Bryant and think not only did we go up there, but we went up there and found some quality and were able to land them. And that's really the key. I think we've got to get a top level player out of there if we're going to go up there. If not, um, let's play with someone who's got some skin in the game. Let's, let's get, a, get a local boy or get an Ohio kid that uh, uh, loves Cincinnati and loves what we represent and what we're trying to build. Not that the guys from Chicago don't. Uh, but if we're going to go up there and we're going to recruit, let's, let's recruit the best ones we can find. And I think those guys fit that bill. Finally, um, when you walk, when I walked in in the spring, you looked at the offensive line, you kind of thought, boy, that's a pretty small group. <laughs> and you fast forward four months and you look at that group and you go, that looks like a, a big time offensive line. As an offensive coordinator, have you noticed that? Obviously, but I mean, has that stood out to you that now you've got the size and the bodies and, and you know, to make a difference? Yeah, we really put a huge emphasis on it. Uh, as you can tell by the numbers we've taken and and some of the, you know, we got a graduate transfer here and we've got another transfer there. And, and you know, these guys that we're bringing in uh, are changing the dynamic of that room, uh, not only from a size standpoint, but I think adding the athleticism to it. And, uh, you know, I think that just, again, I think it breeds the type of competition that you, you just, as a coach, you love. Uh, you know, those guys that are have been in there kind of playing for us, uh, better be on top of their business uh, or we're going to be shuffling some guys around. So uh, obviously the feeling this year compared to last year with that group in particular is that uh, we're going to be able to move people around and we're going to be physical up front and we're going to uh, you know, have a chance to control the football game with what we do on the offensive line. All right. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.